Sometimes you just gotta bring seven invisibility spells into war. What's going on Clash Bashers, Rocky here today, and today I'm here to show you this awesome army that I just went 4 for 5 with in war, and the miss was a time fail. This army is a Houdini Dragon Rider attack that uses 7 invisibility spells. The other day I put up a short that showed off me getting crazy Houdini value, and I was kind of just memeing, and I used this attack in Legends League, and I actually had some pretty good success, so I was like, well, let's try it out in war. And as you see here on Big Rock, we went 2 for 2 using this attack. On CB, we we went one for two with a 96% time fail. And on Rocky three, we went two for two, but one of them was a hybrid attack. So we go four for five, and one of them was a time fail using seven invisibility spells. So we're gonna hop in here. I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I'm looking for, how to get the most value out of it. If you guys wanna comment today's comment keyword of the day, go with Houdini or Blizzard, whichever one you wanna go with in there. But here is our first attack. Now, one thing you wanna look for is as much value as possible. I went ahead and I froze that sweeper because because I wanted to land this blimp right in between the Igor artillery and this scatter shot because the wizards can fire over a one tile space. So I thought that they could get that uh a scatter shot right there no problem not to mention they'll be able to gut out and get a lot of value in this core and that's why we bring the seven invisibility spells because we'll bring as many as we need for the super wizards and then whatever's left over just goes to the royal champion and this is a case where i tend to use uh all of the invisibility on the wizards a lot of times i usually have two or three invisibilities left over but this one i wanted to make sure that i got that value down now next off i want to go ahead and i want to get this town hall down with the heroes and then just create an alleyway up the middle for our uh dragon riders to go through here and get the base out so we'll see the king will get the town hall down here and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to use that royal champion over there on the left side along with the queen and again if you don't use all your invisibility spells you can use them on the Royal Champion and just get so much more value. Queen does a good job of staying out of that poison, and she'll go over here and actually take out the enemy Queen. Now, I did bring Headhunters on this uh, just in case we don't get to the enemy Queen and the enemy Royal Champion, but we actually get them both taken out right here, which is really, really nice. And then from there, we're just going to bring in the Riders and work through here. Now, I did kind of chop this base up and not give myself... Uh, great pathing the way I kind of chop this base in half down the middle not generally the best idea there but I wanted to get that town hall out because I didn't want the riders to have to deal with it I could have probably ran in my royal champion in a different spot but honestly I thought I had a pretty good run at this base and we wouldn't have too much to hold us up tornado in the middle of the bases which is uh, pretty common on a base like this style uh, we're just gonna let the riders run through here now the one problem with this is you will tend to run through your spell so you got to be careful of that but honestly if you can get enough Houdini value get enough out of here heroes you'll be fine guys you'll be perfectly fine on this so from there it's just dragon riders to clean this one up and this one was actually really close to a time fail as well but we do get the job done you want to get those minions in behind those dragon riders as soon as possible guys get the dragon riders in there and get the base cleaning up that way you don't have a time fail you are really susceptible to time fail with an attack like this because remember the riders are just going to go for defenses first and they're not going to worry about any cleanup buildings so we get the minions we got the owl in there working and then we're just gonna like i said barely clean this one up i think there's like one second left but that was also because my pathing was a little bit sketchy but that's the general idea of it let me show you one that was a little bit better executed so in this base you can see time is not an issue two minutes 16 seconds on the attack so i like to use that hound just to tank a little bit for the blimp to, so we get the blimp where we need it to go and then with this we're just going to get the town hall out we're going to try to get the scatter out and just really gut this right side compartment over here and you can kind of use those invisibilities to your advantage and just kind of work them around i would love to have gotten the royal champion out here but unfortunately it just wasn't in the cards and i kind of misplaced that invis right there uh, because i wanted to get that air defense out luckily we still get the air defense down so i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to run in the baby dragon there i'm going to use the ice school i like to use the ice school out in front to obviously tank for the heroes but i love that wall breaker it's actually broken this wall but it didn't go that way that that happens that happens so we're going to have our king our queen work in here king's actually going to go down get the royal champion and this base is really nice because if we can get that far left side this whole side where the town hall was out it's just a straight line through for our our dragon riders i almost said hog riders for our dragon riders it's a straight line through and then notice since we didn't use all the invisibility spells we have a little bit more for the royal champion so she's going to be able to get a little bit of extra value and even if you don't use the invis on the royal champion 
You can use it on the queen. I, I use it on the queen from time to time. We do pull out the clan castle, a little unfortunate there, uh, because it is an ice uh, ice golem and a lava hound, which is just a little bit annoying for our heroes when we're trying to get hero value. We're going to go ahead and pop that warden ability as that eagle shot's coming in. We're just going to work through here, guys. Uh, again, using that invisibility to get that RC in there. She'll be able to ignore the lava hound, ignore that ice golem, and get to the eagle artillery. And from there, just clean up with the riders. We're out of spells, but the riders are so beefy that they're able to get through the base. I mean, it's, it's just kind of crazy how beefy they are. If you can set up some really nice pathing, which is what we had here, this is what we're looking for. Really clean pathing, the riders are going to have no issues. And this was a way better, way more executed attack because the Houdini complimented the heroes and then the heroes complimented the riders' pathing, and that's how we were able to get through here and get such a nice, easy three-star on this one. Again, two minutes and what, 16 seconds is out, I said. That's a nice, fast attack. Don't leave it up to chance. Just get through here. We still got queen ability swagged out here. Plenty of troops up. And it works out really nicely, guys. Again, use those invis to get as much value as you need out of the Houdini slash Blizzard. And then use the other invis on your queen or your royal champion to set up the proper pathing. So honestly, I love doing Houdini on these ring style bases. Just because if you can land that blimp in here, you can get so much value. And honestly, on this one, it shouldn't be too hard to get that blimp in there. Because the... Air defense is basically protecting that interior position. Now, I did place a blimp a little bit high. I should have brought it a little bit closer to 3 o'clock. But the nice thing is you can pop that blimp early and let it drop in right where you need it. So we're going to go ahead and let that blimp drop in there. And again, use those invisibilities <laughs> to take out this whole section of the base. We're going to get the Eagle Artillery down. We're going to get the Queen down. We're going to get the Royal Champion down. We're going to get the Town Hall down. We're going to get a scatter shot down. Just insane value through here, guys. Also, we have the clan castle pulled, and then I'm just going to kind of compliment that by bringing in the heroes from that six o'clock position. That'll bring down the uh clan castle away from uh everything that we're trying to do up top because we'll actually run our royal champion in to clear up this compartment and then bring our riders in from the top side notice we still got two invisibilities and those things are going to come in real nice that ice golem out in front is such a nice thing to have and with the riders being so beefy you pretty much you have enough space to bring that ice golem no problem i like to throw in a minion or two just to help the queen out with the lava pups and that's what we do there bring that royal champion in from the right side and we're just setting up having and look by the time we're done it's just going to be a straight line through this top section for the dragon riders right guys so we're just setting up nice pathing getting everything complementing each other together here and it works out so nicely this attack is so much fun and again use those invisibilities on the rc and just let her get that value bring those riders in and this one's gonna be done so man this one's gonna be done. like the rc is out in front of the riders we'll use the invis right there to help her out you can actually invis riders if you want we'll go ahead and we'll use the warden's ability just to protect through that scatter protect through that single protect through that seeking air mine that popped up and this one's not even close. This might have been the cleanest one out of all of these. And this works really nice on those ring style bases when you can basically just cut it in half, take out half the base with your Houdini, with your heroes, and then just finish off the other half of the base with the riders. Look at this. We got like a whole herd of riders up here, guys. It is insane. It works so, so nicely. And that's what I want to show you guys here today. Now, I'll show you guys the time fail. I don't want to show off Rocky 3's attack because it was a little bit of a lower base. These ones were the higher of the bases. But I will show you guys the time fail. And we'll talk about maybe what I could have done to speed it up. Maybe uh, not time fail because, as you saw in the intro, it was only 4% off. It was pretty close. It's just not quite there. So maybe we could see what we could have improved there. Look at that. We got like a whole herd of riders up on that attack. It's nuts. All right, guys. So this is the time fail. And I think I know what I could have done a little bit better here. Again, I kind of go opposite corners and cut the base like down a straight line. Whereas I need to complement each other. We need to use that Houdini with the heroes to complement each other. And I didn't do a great job of that. So we use the Houdini near the town hall here. And I think what I could have done to fix this is quite simply just move the heroes to this position here so we could have worked in try to still get to the eagle still get to the queen uh but also set up nicer pathing for our dragon riders and i do what i did on that attack earlier where i cut the base in half and that's just really not optimal let's be honest it's really not optimal for like a lalo or rider uh, attack so what i could have done here is i could have simply just put in a couple balloons to take that out i could have ran in my king and queen over here i could have ran in the royal champion through here and we could have just let them all kind of paired up here 
Uh, rather, instead, I, I go with the hero's opposite side of the base. And that's something I gotta work on. Like, I, I'm really guilty of doing this really often, just cutting the base in opposite sections with the heroes, with the Houdini, whereas I should be complimenting the heroes uh, and the Houdini there. Uh, even if we didn't go like oh, down here, because it, it does look like a lot, we could have ran in through here towards this scatter shot through there and just ran everything there. But I wanted to try to get make sure I got one of the heroes out. And again, like it's really awkward because we run the royal champion in through this far side. And I think if we just ran the king and queen in on that far side, we would have been really good. We would have still got to the queen. Uh, and then we would have had the headhunters, the two headhunters, because we could have flew our riders right in where I put the heroes. We would have had the headhunters to take out that royal champion. So I think it was just a bad padding decision on my part. And that's just something that I got to work on. That's something that I can do better. Uh, and it could have sped things up a little bit. We were a little bit late getting the riders in, but also the riders just get obliterated in the middle of this base. We, we got the queen up. We just got a lot for these riders to get through. The headhunters don't get there because the... Our, the warden goes a little bit south, so I couldn't use his ability to help them get through there. Luckily, the queen had enough gas in the tank to get through. Well, let's go ahead and speed this one up, because we know it's a time fail. But you'll just see these bows right here too much for them to take on. And I think I could have just complemented better with the Houdini and the heroes. And that would have made a better decision on this base. So, uh, we, we get the time fail. It wasn't too far off. But again, it's just... just about that uh, that pathing and that decision making that I think I could have done better here. So uh, that's the army, guys. I will remember to link that down there in the description so you guys could try this one out for yourself. I think it's a pretty strong army uh, as long as you can get enough value with the Houdini. Like obviously, if you're committing to that, you want to get a lot of value. Like try to get out of town hall heroes, scatter shots equals whatever you can get out, get as much as possible, and then just complement it with your heroes and then run those riders in to clean up. But as always, guys, hopefully you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, please leave a like and consider subscribing thank you guys so much for watching you guys have a great day keep on clash bashing while wow, you watch that whole video here's another video that youtube thinks you'll like and here's a playlist of similar videos